Regis, uh, an obvious one to start with. How long have you been sitting on that voice note? Um, we had it, we had it for a little. My bad. We had yeah, we had it for a little while. Yeah, it was um, I mean he was supposed to fight. Like I said, I think like two years ago, and um, yeah, that's when I had it since then. With this fight now, do you feel the pressure going into it? Do you feel like this is somewhat last chance saloon for yourself and your aspirations in your career? It is not. No, I don't feel no pressure, brother. I don't know why. I feel. I just feel real calm and confident. You know, I know everybody talk about the pressure. The pressure on him over there. This is home city. This is not just his home city. This is home country. I'm just a visitor, but at the same time, everybody been so nice. So I don't even feel no pressure, bro. Like I just, I feel just calm and relaxed right now. That's the main thing I feel right now. So respectful, the pair of you, um, in the build-up to this fight, and that's what a lot of this was sort of built upon. That was quite a surprise to everyone. I thought you and Sam Jones got on fairly well. Have you been planning that for a, a while, though? Because I haven't, no, I haven't been planning it for a while, but it it, it, it it was something that I forgot about. You know, like when I, last time I came, I didn't really, I forgot we had that. You know, but um, I ain't even honestly, brother, I didn't even know I had that. Somebody else had it. Somebody, one of my other people was talking to him. He kind of he had it, so I was like, you, you know what? Send that to me. I might use it and. Yeah, we used it. Regis, was the plan to completely unsettle Jack Catterall's camp and kind of put a hindrance on his relationship with Sam Jones with that voice note? Uh, I always look at Sam. Sam over there. Look at him. That motherfucker is Sam is over there fucking stressed out. Look at him. He over there. He's, he's stressed out. Anyways, um, nah, it was just, you know, just a... I just wanted to play it. That's all. You know, he said that. His, this, this is his manager. His manager said, you heard it. He said, I will flatten him. His manager said it. So it's not, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm playing what he said. Did you know it's that would rattle him? Did you know that would rattle Sam Jones? Of course. It will rattle anybody. Do you, think it, do you think it's rattled Jack? I don't know. It probably did. I mean, if your manager, say, if, if my manager say, oh, you would get your ass whooped by this person and now you fighting the person, yeah, I'll definitely be like, God damn, you don't even believe in me. How would you have reacted? He has said he's going to really, sorry, bro. Y'all got too much heat. Huh? How, how would you have reacted if you were in that situation? Yeah, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, damn, you know, I'd be doubting myself too. Like, damn, my man just said I'll get whooped by, you know, the person I'm fighting. I'll be mad too. He said immediately after, oh, if that's what we're doing, we're releasing voice notes, I can release some stuff too. Do you, are, you, are you thinking, what, what has he got kind of thing now? He don't got nothing. No. He don't have nothing. Nothing. Maybe he got some AI shit going on, but he have. I'm talking about absolutely. He has anything on me. Nothing. I can show you in my phone if, if y'all want to see. I, he has any nothing on me. Absolutely nothing. What makes you so confident in saying that Sam's got nothing on you? Because he seems very committed to trying to find trying, something on you. Find, he has nothing on me. Nothing at all. I mean, cause I don't. I'm not. I'm not that fucking stupid to say something like that. You know, like nah. He he has nothing on me. Now if he do some AI shit, that's different. But he has any nothing on me at all. Are you ready for that war of words with Sam? Because no doubt, I'd imagine on social media tonight he's gonna. Start I don't. To I'm not paying attention to it. No, I'm not. A war of words for who? With me? I'm not going. To, I'm not. I'm having a lot of fun. You see, I'm having a lot of fun, right? Yeah, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I have no. I'm not going to war with Sam with words for what? I'm. I'm going to fight Jack. I don't care about that shit. Nah, he can say what he want on social media. I got people to take care of that, but I'm not. How, no. How, how have you enjoyed Manchester so far? You've been here for a while now. Everybody's so nice. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel like I'm. I'm not. I'm. Mean, I feel like I'm at home. I'm in a whole different country. But everybody here has so been so nice. I thought I was gonna get more like, um, hating stuff. But like everybody been here, just it been super nice. It been chill. I mean, I'm just enjoying myself. Regis, what's the difference on Saturday night between you and Jack? Why do you feel like you have your your in your own opinion a favorite? My skills, bro, my skills, skills, like I'm saying, skills, and you talk about skills and resume, like you, you, I mean, I know like it, this is his hometown, this is home country, but at the same time, we talking about the skills, the skills pay the bills, like look at my resume, look what I did, I'm just, it's a, it's a, it's just a different level, that's it, you know, I just, it's, it's different, it's levels to it, and I'm going to show the level. So what point did you realize that you were back, because they've alluded to in um, previous fights that Eddie Hearn said, you know, maybe that spitefulness wasn't there, but you're confident and your training team have alluded to, look, that, that same fighter who won them titles, he's back. At what point did you realize, look, we're here now? When I started camp, when I really honestly, bro, when I went back to Houston and started training again, that's when it was like, all right. And my coach was, he was kind of scared because at first I was training in Vegas and then I left because um, at first, you know, we were supposed to fight, fight the August 24th date and they got canceled. And then after I just left, I left Vegas and I was, um, I went back to Houston. I just got back in my bag again. And I just feel, I feel like me. That's the main thing. I just feel like being me again. I've just enjoyed myself. That's the thing you can, as you can tell, um, I'm just, 
having fun. I can, I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy. I'm smiling. Besides being um, weight drained, you know, I, I still have to um, lose the weight and stuff. But besides everything like that, man, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun. And that's what I do. I do boxing because I love it. Speaking of the vehicle. that your previous two camps weren't the best. What have you done differently in this camp to ensure that doesn't happen again? Um, less distractions. I mean, less, less, we have a long story, but a short story is uh, way less distractions. I had a lot going on in my last two camps, and this time it's just like, it's chill. Way less distractions. This, you know, since I've been here, I've been in the hotel and stuff, and I'm just like, literally, it's just boring. It's just in the hotel all day long, and I'm not gonna lie, man, my last fight with, with, with Devin in San Francisco, it was like a party. I had nothing but shit going. I had people all in my room, and I had cameras in my room. I had people doing, girls doing my hair in my room. I had my friends there, so, you know, this time, it's like, I don't have none of that. I'm just sitting in the room. I'm bored, but it's a good board. Sitting there and read books and watching TV and watching YouTube, and that's it.